In this video, I'm going to explain how to avoid losing money buying commodity ETF that mislead you into pretending that it tracks commodity prices. Just take five seconds and look at those two charts. Here we have in blue the WTI crude oil price. And in orange, we have the USO, which is the largest ETF oil tracker. As you can see, if you had bought USO in June, you would be short of 10%. Here is another, maybe more extreme example. We have in blue the sugar price, in orange a sugar ETF, and in turquoise another sugar ETF. So if in September you would have bought the turquoise ETF, thinking that it's going to track the sugar price, you would have lost a lot of money. So what the f is going on? But before addressing this question, if you are wondering who is this better looking version of Ashton Kenter, I'm Damien, a former commodity trader that doubles between tech and commodities. So what is going on with those ETF? What you need to understand is those instruments are not made for buy and hold. Holders get destroyed. So let's see why. Let's take a well-known market, the European Processing Potato Futures Market. I'm not kidding, this is a real market. Here you can see that they have four different contracts with four different delivery dates. April 2021, June 2021, November 2021, April 2022. Just so I'm sure that we are all on the same page, I can buy and sell those contracts. And when the contract expire, I can settle them by delivering potatoes. So now let's say that I want to launch a potatoes ETF. I think it's a great business opportunity. Everyone loves French fries. Elon Musk just tweeted that potatoes will be the first crop on March. I mean, we have all seen the Martian, obviously. And let's say that I raise 100 million, like easily, because it's such a great business idea. Uh, Jeff Bezos calling me, Damien, I want to put more money in your ETF. I'm like, no, no, can't, I can't, I can't. Jay-Z is calling me, he's like, Damien, we should do a song together because your potatoes ETF is such a great idea. The Rock called me, we should do a movie together. I'm like, okay, The Rock, let's do it. I mean, this is a slam dunk. And in two months, I raised 100 million for this idea. So now I have 100 million and I need to invest them. So I'm going to buy the potatoes April contracts at five euro. Then when the contract is about to expire, I need to sell all of those April contract and buy the next one. This operation is called a rollover. And this is this operation that kills commodity ETF performance. Let's say that the price of the April contract is still at 5 euro, but the price of the June contract is 6 euro. The ETFs need to sell all the April contracts to purchase the June contract. But by doing so, the ETF loses more than 4 million contracts in the operation. More than 4 million contracts, guy. And the gal that is watching. If we forget about the prices and think in terms of potatoes, we have fewer potatoes after the rollover operation. Each time the ETF rolled from one contract to another one with a higher price, the ETF lose value. And this is why you get hammered as a holder. And this is without counting the fees that takes the broker to get you in and out of contracts. But now you are maybe a smart ass and you said, hey Damien, I get what you mean. But what happens if the next contract is cheaper than the current one? And this is a perfectly valid question. So let's think in truth. So let's say that this time the next contract was 4 euro. Then if you roll 100 million, you get 25 million contracts. So in terms of potatoes, you get more of them and your ETF value gets higher. But usually when the market is uh, properly functioning, the forward contract is more expensive than the spot price. And it's really simple to understand. It represents the fact that if you buy today at spot price uh, 1000 metric ton of sugar and you hold it one month um, somewhere in a warehouse, in one month, those 1000 metric ton of sugar would have cost you more than the price that you pay because you would have to pay warehousing fees, financial fees, insurance fees, and so on. Holding physical commodities costs money and you can see it on the future market as later deliveries cost usually more than sooner deliveries. Of course, sometimes there is like market imbalance and the spot price is more expensive than the future price. And in that very specific case, it's interesting to buy a commodity ETF because of the positive rollover. But usually those market conditions does not really last. So my advice to you, don't use those instruments. Seriously, you are not a trader, you don't have, you don't have a specific edge. So yeah, why would you bother? Like, 
invest your money wisely and carefully with a two to five years horizon and you should be okay. <laughs> but don't use commodity ETFs, please. If you like the video, please subscribe, put a thumbs up and uh, if you want to interact with me, just leave a comment.